boys and girls. Welcome to Miss Edda's Academic Corner. Why are you looking at me like that, Judah Senior? Oh, no, I'm just checking on you. Oh, thanks. Welcome, boys and girls. I'm Judah Senior, and I'm Judah Junior. Welcome to Miss Edda's Academic Corner. Hey, Bree. Hey, Connor. Hey, Kenya. We are here again to read. What are you going to read for us today? I'm going to read a book called All About the Weather. All About Weather. Wow, wow, wow. That's a good book for now. All About Weather. Hey, boys and girls, this is a book, a first weather book for kids. It's written by Huda, I can't say the last name, Haraji. And they have a master's in uh, MA. Let me just say MA. This is a book that talks about the weather. Depending on where you're at, it could be cold, it could be hot, it could be raining, it could be snow, it could be a uh, blizzard, it could be a tornado, tornadoes coming, hurricane coming. There's all kinds of things that goes on with the weather. But welcome to the wonderful world of weather. You know you see on TV uh, the people, men or women, called meteorologists, and they tell you about the weather. So are you curious about what makes things warm, what keeps you have summer days, what have you, winter days? Who knows? You might end up being a meteorologist. Let's take a look. All about weather. Softback book, a lot of bright colors, got a rainbow up in there. We got green, we got yellow, we got white. We got the colors of the rainbow, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. We, we've got all kinds of things going on here. Yep, yep. Now, nice colors. Woo, woo, woo. All about the weather. All about weather. All about weather. A first weather book for kids. Okay, let's see, let's see. She says to Hassan and Emily, what is weather? That's a good question. When you step outside, what does the sky look like? What does the air feel like? The sky is blue. The air might feel warm. That's weather. They didn't check it out. What's going on? Weather changes all the time. It helps you decide how to spend the day. Weather also changes throughout the year. These changes are called seasons. We have four seasons, boys and girls. Many places on earth have four seasons. What are they? Come on, what are they? That's right, boys and girls. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Those are the four seasons. Spring weather is warm and rainy, and when flowers start to bloom, summer weather is usually hot and sunny. So in those four seasons, the weather changes. The air becomes cooler during fall and leaves change color. Winter brings cold air and sometimes snow. And sometimes there's so much snow, depending on where you live, and you can build a snowman or a small or a snow lady. Near the middle of the earth, there are only two seasons, rainy and dry. How many seasons happen where you live? Do you have four or do you have two? Thermometers tell us how hot or cold the air is. Higher numbers are hotter, lower numbers are colder. So you should learn to read a thermometer. Ask your parents to help you. Is the sun shiny today? Put on your coolest shades. What is the sun? The sun causes the weather on earth. It provides light and warmth. That's that heat you feel comes from the sun. The sun is actually a star. It's more than 4.5 billion. That's right. 4.5 billion years old. The sun can make the air outside feel hot. Enjoy a sunny day by playing outside. You can ride your bike in the park or cool down at the beach. Things to do for the summer. Is it windy? Quick, catch your hat before it flies away. What is wind? 
It's windy when the air around you starts moving around. We can't see wind, but we can feel wind. We can see what wind does, but we don't see the wind itself. But we know it's there. Enjoy a windy day by flying a kite or blowing bubbles. Windmills turn wind into electricity. These are all the things that the weather does. Are there fluffy shapes floating in the sky? It must be cloudy. What are clouds? Warmth from the sun causes tiny water droplets to rise up to the sky. These droplets stick together and make a cloud. Did you know that? Look at what we're learning. Enjoy a cloudy day by lying in the grass and watching the clouds change shape. They actually call that cloud watching. And many people find it to be very peaceful. When you look at the cloud, what shapes do you see? Is it raining outside? Grab your umbrella, raincoat. A drop of water spends nine days in the sky before falling back to the earth. Wow. Rain is water that falls from the clouds. Rain has a very important job. It provides water for the plants to grow. So we need rain. Okay, never think we don't need it. We need it. Enjoy a rainy day by reading a book near a window. Listen to the raindrops. You ever heard it? You Sometimes you listen to the raindrops and you fall asleep. It makes you feel nice and warm. Is it snowy? Lace up those books. boots. What is snow? When rain freezes, it's called snow. Snow is icy and wet. Snowflakes are different shapes, but they all have six sides. So they have six sides, but they might have different shapes. Well, they do have different shapes. Enjoy a sunny day by making snow angels. That's when you lay down in the snow and you put your hands out and you swing them up and down. Or some people do ice skating in the snow. Some people actually, adults do ice fishing. Is there a thunderstorm? Let's move the picnic inside. If you can hear thunder and see lightning, that's a thunderstorm. Thunderstorms also bring rain and sometimes wind. Thunderstorms form when cold air and warm air meet. That's why the meteorologist is always telling you where the warm air comes from and where the cold air comes from and what happens when the two come together. You can still enjoy a stormy day by playing games with your family. Y'all can play inside. Y'all can sit and just spend time together. Be safe inside and keep away from the windows because you don't want to get hit by any lightning. Let the lightning stay on the outside. Look outside after a thunderstorm and you might see a rainbow. Woo. Rainbows form when light shines through raindrops. The seven colors in the rainbow are what? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Say that again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Let's get ready for the weather. If it's cold, if it's sunny, if it's raining, the weather is sunny and bright. Point to what you need. So you can actually look in your closet and help your parents when you look at the weather and decide what you need to put on for that day. Rather, and now this book has some exercises to do. You can t look at your clothes and tell what you should wear. You can look at the weather and tell what you should wear. Think about what is your favorite weather. Everybody has a favorite time of the year, um, either in the four seasons or the two. So what is your favorite time of the year, boys and girls? And share with your parents why that's the favorite time of the year. So this was all about weather. So whatever weather you're in, boys and girls, enjoy yourself. Till next time.